What's up guys, AC Car Shark back again, back with another game chasing video. Today we're gonna to be doing some game chasing in Easton, Pennsylvania. Uh, gonna have the Game Gallery and the Easton Exchange, uh, the sister store of the Nazareth, Nazareth Exchange. Um, just see what's out there. I uh, haven't been down there in a while, so I just figured go take a, take a look. It's a nice day out, walk around downtown and uh, see what games uh, come across my path here. All right guys, here we are walking in downtown Easton, heading towards the game gallery and uh, the Easton Exchange. And uh, I'll show you around once we get inside. All right guys, heading out from downtown Easton here. Um, went to the game gallery, unfortunately, um, no NES games I needed, even the expensive ones. I uh, had everything that they that they had. Uh, so a couple of Super Nintendo games I've wanted for a while, um, unfortunately priced like way above um, what they're worth. Um, it wasn't even like it was a few bucks, and I'd be like, all right, you know what, I'll I'll get it just because I want it. It was like twenty something dollars above like the price they should be. Uh, I saw the uh, Final Fight Streetwise for the Xbox. I've really wanted that title for a while. Uh, I think it was like 25 and I've, you know, eBay has them for anywhere between like 12 and 15 bucks. So it was just, you know, all overpriced. I didn't really find anything um, that was within my range of, of value. So I didn't actually, I think the first time I actually walked out of Game Gallery with nothing in hand, went over to Easton Exchange, as always, get hooked up there. Uh, Easton Exchange, Nazareth Exchange, um, both great places to find stuff. So I ended up leaving. Uh, first thing I'll show you is non-game related, but I had to have it for the game room. Uh, obviously, you see I'm a huge Back to the Future fan. You guys know that by now. Uh, I did find the Back to the Future soundtrack on vinyl. Um, and it's just absolutely awesome. Record's in great condition. And I uh, picked that one up. I'll probably listen to it once and then probably frame it up for the game room wall just as some decor, uh, like the 80s decor that I like to have. Uh, so that was that. And then I picked up four Super Nintendo games. Again, NES. Uh, they had a great selection, just nothing I needed. And um, you know, everything that I got here was pretty much at or below value as far as the app is concerned. So uh, first one I was surprised I didn't have yet, um, but that is Super Adventure Island. Uh, I want to say this one was marked at like 10 bucks. The app has it around I think it was like 18 or 20 or, or around that range somewhere uh, really good shape you know a couple marks on the back but the spine everything it looks good so um, absolute classic to have in the collection and a great platformer to, to play um, the next game up I was a huge fan of on the PC back in the uh, the 90s and again it shows somewhere but again spine and label are great uh, and that game is Prince of Persia uh, absolutely love Prince of Persia it's a great game and uh, to have it on Super Nintendo is awesome. Along the same lines, uh, one I've never come across, I don't believe, on Super Nintendo, and that's Prince of Persia 2. So they had Prince of Persia 1 and 2, so I picked up both of those. And, you know, really clean condition, everything looks looks pretty good. I mean, I don't see anything wrong in there. And then the last one I picked up, I know nothing about this game um, other than the fact that it's put out by Atlas, and usually they're pretty much a win every time. And um, it was on a higher end of what I paid for of any of these items. But uh, just from the label, it looks like a shooter. If it is, it'll, it'll be great on the Super Nintendo. And again, it's put out by Atlas, so I have to have that in my collection. Uh, it's either called Blazon or Blazion. I think it's like Blazion. As you can see, there's the title right there. I wanna say it's Blazion since it's one word. Uh, but it, it does look like a, like a spaceship type shooter, uh, schmuck kind of game, I guess. And um, so I had to pick that one up for the collection for Super Nintendo. Uh, again, Super Nintendo, I'm not going complete uh, like I am my other stuff. I am just getting games I think are fun. Um, Super Adventure Island, I've, I've played, I already know is fun. Prince of Persia games, I've played before, I know they're fun. And then this one just looks like a fun, hopefully it's like a fun shmup. Um, and, but we'll see. I mean, just, just the, the label, the label, hold on, before I spill everything. The label alone, the picture on it, it just looks really, really awesome. Let's see if I can get this to focus on the label. Let's see. Eh, not really. But anyway, uh, it just looks fun. So that's a game I'm willing to take a chance on. So, I mean, again, uh, not a massive pickup, but an awesome one nonetheless. So that was that was today for Game Chasing in Easton. Uh, that's going to wrap up this, this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Till next time, AC Card Shark. Take care.